what is going on guys so today I wanted to bring a highly requested video to you guys so and one of the previous videos I showed you guys a demo of playing YouTube videos um, among other things on the Apple CarPlay I'm gonna be demonstrating this on my 2018 F-150 this is gonna work for any CarPlay Apple CarPlay based system so any Ford Mustang um, F-150 or any other manufacturer that has Apple CarPlay let's go ahead and hop into the truck Give it a little cold start and let's go show you how to do this all right so first thing i want to do is give you guys a little demonstration as you can see i have a apple iphone 10. the device does not really matter but the software version does um, i'm going to link some videos down below but let me just demonstrate this real quick so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about so if we go ahead and take the device here and we just got to plug that in when you plug it in that's when CarPlay will start to work. All right, so as you can see here, once that you get that plugged in, you got a normal menu. So as you can see right here, we have the apps, and you can see that there are actually more apps on here. And you can do various different things. You can pretty much actually open up any sort of application. Um, this is just asking me to unlock my phone. As you can see right here, I can actually control my device screen right from the screen here. And just so you guys can see, I have that down there. And let's see if we can get both in the frame. So it links these two together. Um, I'm gonna go back to home on here. All right, so if you go ahead and open up YouTube, gonna pull up the pretty much normal YouTube application that you would see on the phone if we go over to subscriptions we can go ahead and I guess we'll just play Dustin Williams here um, so you can see we actually got some sound um, you can skip ads if they're skippable and then you can go ahead and go full screen and it doesn't matter if the vehicle's in motion it's not an official thing so you know if you put in motion reverse I mean there's not going to be any issues I'll go right back to your video that you were playing and obviously we have some sound there uh, so we're going to go back here uh, funny story I actually met Dustin when he was down in Florida uh, for sip and clean I think it's about two years ago uh, but Dustin's pretty cool so we're going to back out there and obviously you can do pretty much anything you can do on the YouTube app um, you can also pull up Instagram um, you can do a lot of really cool things so like you can pull up Instagram we got my friend Zach with this Camaro you can pull up stories we got the Corsa story so really you can do a lot of different things I don't think uh, surfing Instagram especially while driving is the best idea um, obviously you're not supposed to be watching videos while driving personally I have the ability to look up forward obviously when you're driving in Mexico and mostly listen to a YouTube video and glance over but um, I'll let you choose if you find this is um, you know able to if you're able to multitask or not um, and you know that's I'll leave that on you so uh, you can pretty much do anything here um, make any app support on CarPlay so this is done through a jailbreak application and that's called CarBridge it's actually designed by my friend Alex so if you go in here you can actually turn on any application that you have on your phone to be used up on the screen which is pretty cool um, obviously a lot of applications are not perfect um, especially ones that aren't landscape supported you know the sideways motion but I have basically the most important one is having YouTube on there so you may be asking how do I get this on my device so here's the main problem the reason why I've kind of delayed making this video I was kind of hoping an iOS 12 jailbreak would come out um, I used to make videos about tech you know things and jailbreak stuff unfortunately this um, I'm actually on 11.3.1 and that's the latest jailbreak jailbreak allows you to get this application called Cydia you can go ahead and download various applications and as you can see here um, we're just going to ignore that. If you do have a jailbroken device, just go over to CarBridge in Cydia. 
and I did have to purchase it. It wasn't very expensive. It was like a few dollars, five dollars, and it was so worth it because I'm able to go ahead and stream the YouTube and everything right to Apple CarPlay. So I really, really like it. Unfortunately, you're going to need a jailbroken device to do this. So with the recent um, iPhone releases and iOS 12 releases, the new firmware is not jailbroken as of yet. So for anyone who is watching this video at a later date, I have links down in the description to people who post regular tutorial videos and updates on jailbreaking. Once your device is jailbroken, this is going to work. If you're device happens to be on 11.3.1 firmware or below then you can go ahead and do this but I'm gonna give you guys a link down in the description to a few different channels that will have reliable information on how to do this if you go to Google and search how to jailbreak whatever firmware you have um, there's plenty of places that will take your money and um, not give you a jailbreak um, only go to these reliable sources I gave in the description um, and a jailbreaking is not a difficult process all of this is not difficult the people who develop the jailbreaks that's the difficult part um, but they release them out to the public so uh, the reason why I haven't made this video is because obviously I was really hoping that an iOS 12 jailbreak would come out so more people would be able to take advantage of this but if you haven't upgraded your firmware on your device to um, I think it's 11.3.1 or greater you can go ahead and jailbreak your device there's a link in the description and you'll be able to go ahead and do this like I said this is is you know use at your own you know risk um, obviously the Apple CarPlay doesn't do this from the factory because it can be distracted and can cause accidents like I said I trust myself to be responsible um, but anyone who's out there you know obviously be safe and um, that is up to you how you use it I personally really like having it but that is all up to you so like I said this is gonna work on any Mustang F-150 um, which is the primary demographic of my audience but any CarPlay in general Apple CarPlay which I think is pretty much you know 2015 and up depending on the model um, you can go ahead and do this so if you are new here make sure you slap the like button down below we do a lot of really cool car videos I know this video is a little bit different and I wish I could be more specific and show everybody how they can do this but obviously the firmware and the jailbreak is the important part so use the links down in the description as a resource subscribe to those channels um, they come out with a lot of news on when these jailbreaks are gonna come out once your device is jailbroken all you go and do is open up that city application download CarBridge and plug in your device and turn on YouTube it's really that simple Personally, I really like having it, but you guys decide. Leave a comment down below. I hope this video was helpful or at least provided some info uh, for when you guys will be able to do this in the future. I'm probably going to be losing this feature, which I'm not 100% stoked about um, because I'm going to be getting an iPhone XS Max. I actually really want to get them, and you know, the new one is not going to be jailbroken, so I don't know. I might just stay with my iPhone 10. But anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one, and have a great one.